Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather. In this update, we're going to be talking about some severe storms, flash flooding, an upcoming cool down, and a tropical update that may leave New England having impacts by late this weekend. So if you do like weather related content, please subscribe to my channel as I will upload daily updates to keep you ahead of the storm. So let's get right to it. We've got a lot to talk about, guys, in the weather department. It is busy. This is the latest hazard app update for uh, August the 18th. And we've got numerous uh, flash flood watches happening currently right now. But notice the lack of heat advisories out here in the West. That's because we have a developing trough that's digging in today, bringing those cooler fall-like temperatures for parts of uh, the West but out ahead of it, we've got flash flood watches to deal with into Arizona, into Utah. Uh, now the Dallas-Fort Worth area has a flash flood watch in effect, as well as uh, West Virginia into Virginia, uh, Pennsylvania, parts of Ohio, into New York with the remnants of Fred that continues dumping heavy rain along the way. So let's take a look at the big picture and see what's really happening, uh, what's going on today. There's that developing trough that's digging in out west, bringing the cooler, almost fall-like temperatures to parts of Montana and to Wyoming. There's the ridge out in southeast Canada. That's the culprit, what's the steering mechanism that has brought uh, Grace further west, and it continues to push it further west. Grace is intensifying into a hurricane this morning, and it's probably gonna make a run for Cat 2 status by the time it gets to Cozumel with major impacts by tomorrow morning so this is rapidly developing system but the high pressure is developing down here further to the south and as this continues pushing further west it'll continue pushing uh grace uh, further west as well so as we go through the day on friday that's what happens this this continued uh uh ridge continues to push west it, it pushes uh, grace well down to the south well into the mexico but it also has this trough that's the cooler air that came in uh today wednesday thursday and friday but the closer this high pressure gets to this trough it's actually going to put a kind of a break on uh, this trough and make it actually kind of retreat as things start to warm up uh, for uh, the, the deep south. And as we transition into that Monday, you can definitely see that happening. Uh, the cooler air retreats back up to uh, the northwest as the ridge will start to dominate and start to uh, build and start to dry things out in the Texas and the southeast. But that also opens the door as this trough retreats and as this ridge retreats out go further west, this opens the door for Tropical Storm Henry to keep pushing further west as well. And there may be a window by the time we get into that late Sunday night, early Monday morning time frame, that it may be close to the coast of uh, New England here, right off the Cape here. So we definitely have to pay a look, at, uh, pay attention to Henry with the steering patterns, pattern, pattern because there's definitely uh, some concern. The trend is further west with this set setup, setup that I'm talking about here. That yes, we could be looking at a, a, a landfalling tropical system uh, somewhere around a New England potentially, sometimes late Sunday night into Monday morning. So let's delve into all the details. But let, yesterday we had a lot of rain, guys. I mean. It, we got crushed in Texas, not from a tropical system. This was just a, from a disturbance. And with those higher dew points, these rainfall rates were pretty impressive for August standards. I mean, a lot of these areas got two uh, to five inches in isolated spots. I know at my house, I got 2.7 inches. It downpoured. And that's why we have a flash flood watch in Dallas today, because we, we have another system coming through this is the remnants of fred this is what the leftovers of fred leaves a lot of flash flooding uh, from uh from atlanta all the way up to new york yesterday with numerous multi-inch totals and there's the monsoon that continues to remain active all the rain they're getting this monsoon season in tucson and, and phoenix here you can see where the kind of the monsoon uh, uh stops here in st louis uh salt lake city uh, that's from the monsoon, but this, all this activity in Montana, that's a, a great sight to see, was just from that trough, that trough that came down, and that's going to be some more rain for that region even today. So let's take a look at what's happening for today. So yes, we have a, yet another disturbance coming through Texas with 
possibly multi-inch rains for in and around the Dallas Fort Worth area again, parts of uh, Oklahoma getting into Arkansas, getting into parts of uh, Tennessee. There's the remnants of Fred. So there's going to be parts of the Northeast that's going to be hit hard with very heavy rain today from West Virginia all the way into Pennsylvania to New York. There's the monsoon flow that's really alive and active and pulls all the way through all the way up into Montana. So some of the heaviest rains are going to be over where the remnants of Fred is. They actually have a moderate risk for excessive rainfall, and that's why they've got those flash flood watches in effect. So multi-inch rains, typically this is in anywhere in the neighborhood of four to six inches possible in these areas. Uh, you know, from all really anywhere from West Virginia into New York is not out of the question. Some of these areas could get four to six inches of rain today. And parts of uh, Texas going into Arkansas, even in the Tennessee Valley, they're expecting two to four inches just in Dallas alone from, from these areas because these rainfall rates are about two inches per hour. That's what they can typically produce once that storm uh, gets over your overhead with those higher dew points. And then the monsoon flow just continues to main, remain active. It's been very impressive this monsoon season and it's still very active and it, it looks like it continues to remain active pushes some very heavy rain into uh, Arizona and Utah, spreading all the way up into uh, Wyoming uh, today. So as we transition to uh, the, the storms today, yeah, some of these storms could be uh, really severe, especially over parts of uh, Baltimore, getting into uh, Washington, D.C., into Arlington, to, into Alexander, into Allentown, Pennsylvania. Some of these storms could be really strong. I mean, we're talking all three modes of uh, severe weather with uh, high winds, some some large hail with this system, and there even is a, an isolated uh, tornado threat as well. So yes, anywhere from Philly all the way to uh, Jersey City is going to be under the gun for some of those stronger storms today. But the tornado threat is going to be really kind of honed in and from uh, Baltimore to Washington, D.C., all into Allentown. That area is going to be more susceptible to possibly seeing a spin up. We actually saw this is all from the remnants of Fred. So we saw some spin ups into Southeast Georgia. We, yesterday they had, uh, what, 13 tornadoes reported in, in the Carolinas so far from the Storm Prediction Center. Uh, and then, and then, uh, then, then, then that, all that system will continue to lift off into the Northeast today. So yes, they are expecting several several tornadoes potent, potentially uh out of this out of this system as the remnants of fred will continue uh pushing up into the into the northeast so back behind it there's the cooler air i mean there's the fall like air no question uh well, these are highs guys in the 50s i mean that's definitely some fall like temperatures that's the first taste of fall like temperatures we've seen so far this season and these these cooler temperatures will continue trying to spread ahead of this high pressure. So we got about a three day cool down uh, that you're looking at. So yeah, take advantage of it uh, at, while you can. But these are these are pretty cool temperatures. I mean, even only 86 degrees with all the rainfall. That's 10 degrees below average in Dallas today. So definitely uh, some cooler air, and it's it's been it's been cool for the last several days. And so. Here's uh, Thursday. Here's the setup for Thursday. Look, look at the tropics. It's alive and well. We got Hurricane Linda out here. We've got Grace coming ashore probably as a, a hurricane, if not almost a Cat 2 hurricane by the time uh, Thursday rolls around. There's Henry. And, but here's the high pressure. This is the high pressure that we're looking at. This is the steering mechanism that has steered uh, Grace further off to the west. But as this pushes further off into the west and starts heat back at, heat backing up in Texas, this is actually going to help push Henry further west. And then this will actually start to pull it further north as well as we go through uh, the weekend. But yeah, tomorrow we got some strong storms into parts of uh, parts of Wyoming, parts of uh, Nebraska here late in the day with this uh, with this trough, with, with that trough that's coming in from the west like I showed you. And then yet we have more heavy rain uh, for uh, for the northeast, and there's the remnants of Fred. So yeah, the, even into tomorrow, they're still going to be looking at impacts from Fred with flash flooding all the way up into parts of uh, New York, into Vermont, New Hampshire, getting into Maine by then uh, with with uh, some very heavy rain as this will continue uh, pushing off into the northeast. 
and down below we still have a marginal risk for excessive rainfall into tennessee and kentucky and to west virginia as well as uh, uh virginia here and then there's that trough ahead of it so we still have some heavier rains ahead of that trough into wyoming and parts of the dakotas into nebraska and that is on a thursday so there's there's the setup for thursday worth the storms and so some of the stronger storms on thursday out ahead of that trough will be uh into Fort Collins, get into to Loveland, into Cheyenne. All those areas will be under the gun. Even in the parts of Denver and Aurora, can't be ruled out uh, to seeing some of those uh, strong to severe, severe thunderstorms uh, coming up on the day on Thursday. And there's the cooler temperatures. They're alive and well, still continue to push a little bit further off down to the southeast, now places into Colorado, into Wyoming, into Montana, into Idaho. This is going to be a welcome relief from all the heat that you've been getting as of late. Uh, so definitely some, some cooler temperatures on the way for that uh, part of the country. But as we get into Friday, Grace will enter back out into uh, the Gulf of Mexico and probably re-intensify again. There's the high pressure pushing further off now it's aligned over Alabama so the further this gets out pushes further further west this helps uh, Henry push further west with this this southeast ridge that's dominating over Canada right here so that's the steering flow that we're that we're concerned about with Henry as out ahead of that yes we have that diving trough that's going to bring that severe weather out ahead of the storm out of the head of that system into uh, minnesota getting into parts of the dakotas here into uh, iowa that'll be on the day on uh, friday with that severe weather and that'll also bring some very heavy rain along with it as well so yes even into parts of the dakotas into minnesota down here in nebraska into iowa will get impacted with those heavier rains coming up on the day on Friday, and then more heavy rain again over parts of Missouri, getting into the Tennessee Valley and all up uh, the parts of the Carolinas as well. Uh, on uh, Friday, there's the cooler air. So by Friday, as this high pressure gets a little bit further off into the West, that's gonna unfortunately push this cooler air back to the North as well. So we got about a three day cool down that we can enjoy at least uh, coming up uh, this week with those fall-like temperatures uh, for parts of the country. So as we go into Saturday, and this is when things start to get interesting. So as we go into Saturday, we can definitely see uh, uh, Grace going to be making impact into Mexico. It's going to stay well away from uh, the United States with that high pressure continue to dominate for as it pushes further off into the West. But that's also going to help steer Henry further into the coast of the Carolina. So now they're probably going to start getting impacts from Henry, at least the outer skirts of some rain showers, uh, the outer bands of Henry trying to push uh, push ashore. And as this developing uh, trough, this, this kind of boundary will continue pushing off into the east. So it's kind of almost kind of race against time and who actually gets there first. If Henry kind of speeds up, it'll actually make a beeline into... Uh, off into land and this uh, if this actually catches up with it this will help push push it out to sea uh, so so yeah here's the latest model update if you take all the model guidance um this some of the some of the models continue to push further off into the west so as it continues pushing further off into the west parts of new england has to be concerned about possible impacts coming up on sunday night into monday especially off the cape here so uh, so it really depends on the steering mechanisms as we move forward. But as the, the a lot of the latest guidance is coming in uh, with that flow that we talked about from the ridge of high pressure moving off into the west is going to help Henry push it further off into the uh, to the east coast. That's the concern because the trend has been pushing it further west. So don't be surprised. We we could be looking at a possible hurricane impacts uh, by the time we get into late Sunday into Monday time frame uh, in parts of uh, New England, especially off the Cape here. Because if you look at the latest update on the GFS model, of course, this is just one run, but they're starting to show this for several times over now. And with the trend pushing it further west, we have a deepening storm 
uh, maybe looking at hurricane type potential uh, coming up for New England by the time we get into that Sunday night going into that Monday time frame. So that's definitely something I'll keep you ahead of, ahead of the storm on. But that's something I wanted to make you aware of that could have a potential as of right now. So here's the rain prospects for uh, the next week. And it continues to remain dry for predominantly out west. There's the developing trough. The monsoon flow continues to remain alive and well. Look at all the rains in Texas, uh, up into Arkansas, into uh, parts of northern Mississippi and Alabama, into Tennessee and Kentucky here, and just crushed in parts of uh, uh, east, eastern Ohio, into Virginia, and much of Pennsylvania with some multi-inch rains, flooding rains for them into New York and uh, parts of the Northeast and Vermont and New Hampshire getting into parts of Maine as well. So yeah, so a lot of rain with the combination of that boundary and as well as uh, the remnants of Fred and these multiple disturbances that are coming out uh, out of the South as well. So hey, I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Do like this video and definitely leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to catch the latest update where I protect you before in after the storm.